Okay, so now, say if I want to go back to my menu, up over here in this little uh, tree explorer kind of thing here, you can see like menu page one, it says up here. If I double click that, now I'm back to my menu. Uh, now let's say if I want to add another movie. So I come back down to my explorer window here, and now here's another MPEG file with the corresponding AC3 audio file. So I click that, and drag it up to the menu here. Try and line those up. And there, now I have a second program on the menu. Now if you want to edit the, any text on the menu, like the, the name of the uh, scene over here, for example, it just picks up the name from the file name of the actual file. If you wanted to change it to something else, you press F2 to edit text, and then you can come in here and edit the text however you want it to look. You could highlight the text and you can change the font size, you know, that, that makes it real small, it can make it real big. Um, like a reasonable size here. Uh, you can also change the font, you know, if you wanted something different than what they picked by default. You can come in here and, and uh, pick different fonts, you can make it bold, italic, you know, whatever you want to do. There's a button here for shadows. Uh, you can set the offset and the blur and so on, the color of the shadow. Um, you know, it's usual text editing kind of things you can do. This down here where it says menu 1, again, if I press F2, I could change that to say, my movies, let's say. Um, whoops. Okay. Um, now with these, uh, these buttons on the menu here, there's a lot of functions that you can control up here where it says button properties. When you select one of these, it'll, up here it'll say button properties. Uh, there's, you can adjust the position, the size, aspect ratio, things like that. Uh, the action setting up here tells what action will happen when somebody clicks on that button. So like, you know, here it says the command that will be done is called link. The destination of the link is the movie file. The destination chapter is what chapter it will start with. So you could have a button that starts with chapter two or starts with chapter three in a movie if you wanted to. Um, if you had multiple audio tracks for your movie, this where it says set audio track, you could just, you could change that so that you could have uh, like one button that plays with you know an English audio track and another button that plays the same movie but with a Spanish audio track or whatever. Uh, same thing with subtitles. And if you had multiple video angles, you can control that here. The auto activate option. What that does is if it's set to yes, then that means as soon as somebody uh, moves the, the mouse cursor or, or you know the, the highlight cursor on the DVD player screen as soon as they move it onto that button it will go right away without actually having to wait to, for the person to click on it um, you know otherwise typically what happens when you move the, the pointer back and forth it it just highlights the one and then you gotta click the uh, play button or whatever to get it to actually play but if you set it to auto activate then it just uh, will play right away as soon as you put the uh, highlight onto that button. Uh, the media property up here sets the properties for the button. So that's like uh, if you wanted a particular picture to appear in this button inside the button here, or if you want your like see where it says style here. If you change that to animated, that will make the your your movie will actually play in the button here in the little window. Um, there's settings for the frame of the the button and the mask and things like that. Highlight here, you can change how the highlighting uh, lights up on the screen here. Navigation, what that is is like. When, when you're on this button, you know, this tells you what will the left 
direction button on the DVD player control move to. And this says, what will the right one move to? What will the up arrow move to? What will the down arrow move to? So if you wanted to, you can change these around. You can make it so that, uh, you know, if you press left, it really goes to the right. If you press right, it really goes to the left. I mean, you can do any crazy thing you want to do with it. Color sets here uh, specify the colors of these highlights and things like that. So if you want to change these things around, you can. Um, you know, I mean, there's a, l a lot you can do with it, but you don't really need to worry about a lot of that stuff if you don't care about it. You can just go with all the defaults. Like right now, we've got all the defaults selected here, so now I'm going to select Preview Disk. And you see, there's my menu. And it's playing the background music that I put on the... Uh, on the uh, for the menu and you can see this one's highlighted with the green and if I go over here and click this one this one becomes highlighted and it plays you can use this remote control over here on the right to uh, simulate what would happen with a real remote control on a real DVD player like if I press the menu button here see it goes back to the menu if I press the uh, the right or the left buttons, it, it moves back and forth, the highlighting, you know, just like it was a real DVD. Um, you know, so you can uh, select which one you want like that and press enter, just like it would be on a, a real DVD player. And your movie starts playing. You know, you can see the uh, fast forward and stuff like that, the buttons here that you can play. Uh, now that this movie's playing, if I press the next button, it should skip to where I put in that chapter setting, a chapter point, which as you see, it, it does skip right to that. And if I were to click it a second time, now it'll skip ahead to the next chapter. Um, down in the bottom here, it shows you the information, the title, the chapter, the position that you're in, things like that. So you can tell pretty clearly what's going on with your DVD.